Hi, Bill Pfeiffer speaking from Marysville. So good to be with you again as, as usual. Um, each day that we come together, we hope that uh, we say something that touches your beautiful uh, heart and, and makes your life a little bit easier, helps you to feel and know the beauty that, that, that you are. You know, uh, again, uh, God made you. God does only good things. He doesn't do bad things. And, and you know, you're one of his uh, wonderful pieces of, of creation. So feel your goodness. Celebrate that goodness. Uh, uh, feel, uh, feel the love that he has for you. Again, nobody knows you like he knows you. All of the people in your life that, that know you as intimately as they can possibly uh, know you, pile it all up into one page, and God still knows more about you. And knowing all of that still says, I love you. That's a really critical thing to, to, to keep in mind. A nice little thing that I used to share with my uh, students in school, and I think would be good for this day as well. People come into your life for a reason a season, or a lifetime. When you figure out which it is, you know exactly what to do. When someone is your, into your life for a reason, it is usually to meet a need you have expressed outwardly or inwardly. They have come to assist you through a difficulty, to provide you with guidance and support, to aid you physically, emotionally, or spiritually. They may seem like a godsend, and they are. They are there for the reason you need them to be. Then, without any wrongdoing on your part, or at, a, an, at an inconvenient time, the person will say or do something to bring the relationship to an end. Sometimes they die. Sometimes they just walk away. Sometimes they act up or out and force you to take a stand. What you must realize is that your need has been met your desire fulfilled, their work is done. The prayer you sent up has been answered, and now it is time to move on. When people come into your life for a season, it's because your turn has come to share, grow, or learn. They may bring you an experience of peace or make you laugh. They may teach you something you have never known or done. They usually give you an unbelievable amount of joy. Believe it, it is real, but only for a season. And lifetime relationships teach you lifetime lessons, those things you must build on in order to have a solid emotional foundation, a solid spiritual foundation, a, spout, a solid God foundation. Your job is to accept the lesson, love the person, and to put what you have learned to use in all other relationships and areas of your life. God does the same thing to us, doesn't he? Sometimes he comes into our lives for a reason, uh, to take care of something that is happening at a particular uh, moment in our lives that needs his presence, his grace, his power to be able to work it out. And particularly, uh, he's always in our lives to handle the human predicament. The human predicament is really the misguided search for happiness uh, that, that we all uh, go through. We use all kinds of false solutions for the things that are giving us difficulty. And happiness cannot be found in those false solutions. That's the human predicament. That's the reason Jesus came. That's the, the, the thing that the gospel really addresses and solves, and you would expect that. If God is the creator of, 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 of us, of, 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 his, of his creation, in Jesus, the master teacher, the best of all teachers, came to be able to help us to understand that predicament and to not look at false solutions as the way to solve the difficulties that we have in our lives. The gospel addresses this directly. Sometimes he comes into our life for uh, just a season to be able to handle something specifically. Maybe it's uh, the, the time that you begin to be married or have children, that something special happening in your job. And so he's in your life with the grace that you need for that particular moment. Believe it, love it, let it happen, and listen to it. And lastly, he's into our lives for a lifetime. He's here forever. 
He wants to hug and hold us into freedom uh, to keep us to keep us whole, keep us growing, and uh, and uh, to, to be able to encourage us to, to, to use our, our life to pray, to use the scriptures, uh, to be able to help each other in their difficulties. So uh, life and friendship. Uh, people come into our lives for a reason, a season, a lifetime, and God does the same thing for us. So continue to be optimistic in these days when there's so much difficulty around us. You want to be be uplifting, be uplifted by all of the things that God has done for you and wants to do for you. Happiness tomorrow always, always begins by doing the truth today. God loves you, and I do as well. Peace. Have a good day.